Right. Hey, everybody. Okay, so this is part two of how I do my own tootsies. I have already done a pedicure and my feet feel nice and smooth and soft and my nails are all tidied up. But so I do like to keep my own personal toes pretty short because, you know, like I can wear this like gel or polish or whatnot for quite a long while before I actually get a chance to change mine. Um, so this toe here, as you guys can see, this one's nice and straight and that's exactly how I like it. I like this length and I like how straight it is. And this one's been a little ripped. So I'm going to build this out with some IBD and uh, make that the same length as this so that we can do this cute little mani. So I might uh, take my feet on and off camera because like I said, I am, I'm attempting, attempting to film this on the floor and it's not, not the easiest when you're hunched over and trying to talk, your voice definitely changes. Um, just adding my toe spreaders here. These are my favorite toe spreaders in the whole wide world. They are these ones here. They are toe separators, superior strength and flexibility. They are by Eco. You can get uh, 144, usually for 14 bucks. And yeah, they're environmentally friendly and they break down in the environment, which is good. I enjoy that. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm going to first. So because I want to build this one out, I'm going to take my file that we used in the... Um, in the pedicure video and because my toes have stuff on them I'm gonna give this a little scoring because I'm gonna be building this out with some gel just like so and I I abuse my toes more than I abuse my my fingernails like I don't uh, like if I have gel I'll like rip the gel off my toes where it's like, you know, cause they're toes and nails are nails. I don't know. I'm just, I'm different that way. Okay. So pardon the pause. I'm gonna take some cleanser and a lint free pad. And I'm just going to give that a wipe. So that is all matte and good to go for some dehydrator. And now I have separate brushes that I use for my toe stuff. So don't be alarmed. I don't use it all on, uh, on clients here. I have separate things for myself. So I'm just putting on some dehydrator. And I, while I'm waiting for this, I'm just going to pause a bit and I'm going to kind of speed through this so that this video doesn't go on too long. All right. So I am taking adhesion, giving it a good scrub into the nail, and then I am curing it. UV lamp, 90 seconds. Pulling it out there. I'm using one of Nail Innovations Forms. Now they have a two-step form system. The large part here, so this is part one, and part two has the shims. I love these forms because this piece here is perfect for big toes. It has a nice wide uh, mouth on it that goes to your free edge. So I'm just trimming it to uh, fit comfortably uh, on my toe in the light. Because I'm literally just sculpting the tiniest little free edge, pushing everything in so that it's all nice and ready to go using IBD Builder Gel and I'm doing my best at this angle because I have I usually have my foot like right up in my face when I'm doing this so this is a really really hard filming situation for me so I'm doing my best here to get my little free edge on working it in there making sure the whole toenail is covered checking and then curing again for 90 seconds in a UV lamp. And I'm going to remove the form. Give it a wiggle. And then I use my dotting tool and I lift.
lift uh, the free edge after I wipe it. I try it with my nail and then I get my dotting tool and I lift up the free edge so it's not stuck on my skin or anything. And then I start to file the free edge and side falls. And then trying to level it out, but at this angle, it proves to be extremely difficult. So I grab um, another diamond skyver type bit and um, smooth everything out. And then I take the um, crosscut diamond file and fix everything up off camera there because, like I said, angles are not the greatest. There it is with the free edge. Oh, sorry, focus. There it is with the free edge. It was super hard to um, file this down with the e-file at this angle. So I had to kind of do that off camera. So I have built up my free edge to the same uh, height as this one here. And I've just um, smoothed it down and fixed up the sidewalls and that. So now I have a nice straight free edge instead of like a broken looking toe. So uh, for this design I'm doing on my Tootsies here, it's a very simple little design. So I'm going to go across all 10 with this Sally Hansen Insta Dry. This is number 123 Champagne Supernova. It's a nice creamy uh, tan color. And then we're going to go in with... Um, a little bit of a design with this black so heart as nails uh eight eight zero black heart and then i'm also going to be doing some glitter placements using these tiny little gold hexagons and to place those i'm going to be using a dotting tool so yes again i will speed through this part for you so I'm not uh, going on too long. So I went ahead and did the other nine and I'm going to do this big toe with you guys. So using the, you guys are going to hear the dogs barking because the neighbors are actually home today with their other dogs and I am dog sitting, which is not wonderful. Okay. So, um, I have gone like, I tried to do this on this pinky toe, but it wasn't quite working for me. So I have gone like, um, small to big, big to small, small to big, big to small, um, and in, on angles. And I'm going to, uh, do a big swirl type thing here on this, but the, like the opposite using the 
black nail polish here and I've got a nail form backing and this stuff dries so fast which is why I have so many big gobs on here and you could also use like black acrylic paint for this too um, it would probably go on smoother so I am using a cat's eye nail art brush the small one so this one's the green kind of like a turquoise green one and can see I'm gonna pick like a center point and drag out like so and I'm gonna fill in this corner trying not to mess up because I don't normally paint my toenails at this angle I usually have them like right up in my face so Bear with me. And then I'm going to take a full dot and I'm going to place it over here. I'm going to make it big and then kind of drag outwards towards the tip of my little triangle here. And then I'm just going to blend them into one another and make them look cohesive. So it's almost like I want it to look like a mustache on my big toes when they are together. So that's that's the look I'm going for. So I'm going to clean my brush now because that's all I need my, my black for. And I'm going to let this completely dry. I'm going to help it dry using this uh, Onyx Professional Nail Dryer. I find this works really good for toes. I like using this on my toes when I don't want, you know, to wait forever for my polish to dry. So, and it also has a really um, nice fragrance as well. It's not like fumey like a lot of other nail dryers are. I just go back and forth over a few times and then I'll, I'll double check for tackiness. I know this one's still gonna be, that one's just a little tacky. Okay. So now, and I forgot to grab it, so I'm gonna grab it now. have I'm actually I'll do the other nine again off camera and we'll come back again and I will do this one with you because I like I said I don't want this video to go on crazy long all right so I have this foot curing and we're gonna just do this toe really quickly together so I have some sheer brilliance too and I'm gonna go over the top of this Manny here, or I don't know, is it really called a Manny when it's on your uh, over top of this petty? I guess nice, even coat. And I'm going to I have my little hexagonies here, and I'm going to just touch a little bit onto my toes so I have some stickiness on the dotting tool. And I'm literally picking up my little hexagons, I'm not being too perfect with them. I just want to keep them inside the black. And then I'm just gonna maneuver them, make sure they're in there. And I've done that with all the black, like the dark spaces. So you have a little bit of bling on the toes. And then I'm gonna cure that. Switch these over here and I'll bring this one nice and close. So there we go. And I can, I can pull these toe spreaders off now, which is awesome. So, so that's what we got. It's a nice, simple little, you know, nude and black with the uh, sparkles, little sparklies. And that's of course is tack free. So, Everything is all sealed in 
the toes there. I will leave a, uh, I'll insert a close up uh, reveal shot here once these are all finished. So I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, we'll check out the reveal shots.